All right, guys, so here's a bonus for you. We're about to put the canoe in the water and go find the spots where we're gonna put the diffusers in, but um, I, I spent a few years working in the boundary waters out of college. And so um, here's a quick tip for you on how to portage your canoe. Um, here's a couple ways you can do it. The first, canoes are made to be carried by one person. They're easier on portage trails. Um, here we're on the portage from Alton to Kelso. Just a short little guy. Yeah. There's bugs. And so they come with yokes, yoke pads on, on the yoke in the center, and they're and they're they're positioned to be um, stabilized or you know, equilibrium on both bow and stern. Um, if you're if you're new to portaging a canoe, the easiest way to do it um, is not from the center, but come to the back of the canoe. And so we're going to flip this up over our head, and then we're going to walk up to the to the yoke pads. But to do that, think about once the canoe is up, where you want your hands. And so to do that, stand next to the canoe and grab the gunnels, the sides of the canoe, and then kind of get it up like this. And then you want to rock it and flip it up on its on its bow like that. And so once you're you're stabilized, then you can just Walk your way up, right to the portage pads, rest them on your shoulders, and then pick the bow of the stir, or bow of the canoe up, and like that, now you're all ready to go. Like that, and then to go down the same way. Get your get your nose on the ground lift up and out and then just walk it back just like that once you get a little bit more advanced you can come to the center I'm gonna find a, a good footing spot you come to the center like this and you you lift the canoe up and you rest it on your quads like that and then what you want to do again, thinking, I want, I want this hand up over on this side. So I want to reach across and then just with a little rocking motion, flip it up. You get balanced and you're off down the portage trail. To put it back down, just the reverse, this takes a little bit of practice, but you lift up, rest it on your quads, and then just gently set the canoe down. And so next time you're portaging a canoe, put these skills into practice and uh, hope that's helpful. Now it's time to go put this thing It's not the boundary waters, but we're gonna go put this canoe in the water to use it to put our aeration system in. All right, now you're riding along. Man, guys, this is the first time that I have been out on the pond. <laughs>